Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm driving to work and I decided that I really wanted to do an autoclaving video like how I autoclave just because I already learned how to do it. it. Took me a couple of tries but I feel like I can confidently autoclave without looking at my notes. Um, being an MA, there was a lot of things that I knew that we would do. But this is probably one of the funnest things that I feel like I enjoy doing. Oh, come on, lady. 55, not 20. Ugh, Saturdays. Okay, so I just got to work. I was hoping that we would have some instruments to clean, and we do. So we have a bucket, pink bucket usually means dirty. So I'm gonna fill that to two liters of water. And while that fills out, sorry, I'm gonna move my camera. I'm going to put some lubricant into the lube in. It always freaks me out to be here so early. Well, earlier than my other coworkers. So I'm just gonna fill that up just to cover my instruments. And we're gonna use the detergent. And we're gonna do two shot glasses of this. Which is about two ounces, I believe. My coworker gets here, she's like, what the fuck are you? Weirdo. Talking to yourself. I'm gonna freak out. Okay. So I like to just have my instruments sit in that detergent for a couple minutes and then I'll scrub. So now I'm gonna have I'm gonna start the scrubbing process. And so this is our little scrubby. I'll just run the water and I like to use gloves I don't like to touch anything without gloves like blood even if it's in tubes detergent like everything causes cancer nowadays so I'm going to move my camera over here so I can show y'all so I'm going to take my tool scrub Scrub all different sides and scrub the ends, everything, even the handle. Just scrub until it's fucking clean. That's all you need to know. Because we use these to remove stitches, the doctors use them to put in stitches. And so we're going to rinse that soap off and get that water off. And then you're just going to put it into the lubricant. Okay, so once you're done rinsing all of your tools, you just dump your soap out. I'm telling you guys like you're gonna do what I say. I'm just, it's just of how, this is just a video of how I do things. Okay. So then we're gonna take our tools out. And we're going to let them dry. Make sure you open your tools up. And then I'm just gonna dump the rest of the lubricant and rinse it off. Put it back. And after I wash my instruments and I set them down, I just wait for them to dry. Okay, so now we're ready to wrap things up. So tools usually go underneath like this. This is called a sharp, a um, fine tip. 
and we're gonna put 20 pieces of gauze on top and our temperature steri strip. So we're just gonna, I always say I like to bake my cookies to my coworkers or like my cookies are done or whatever when I'm doing this. <laughs> They, they, they get a kick out of it. So basically I just wrap my stuff. There's not really a specific way to do this. It's pretty much up to your clinic. But I mean there's a specific way to do it. But everybody does it just slightly different. So I'll show you, this is my second layer. I rolled the first layer the exact same way. So I roll up. And then fold in. Because when you open it and you want it to keep it sterile, you want to make sure you have these ends so you can open for the doctor and you're not touching the insides. And then I'm just going to tuck the the front, go in, in, and I'm going to use my tape. This is a special kind of tape. It turns black once you sterilize it. I'm just going to fold the end. And I'm going to put it on there. And it should look like a nice present. I'm going to repeat this process two more times. I'm going to put the date on here and that it's a fine tip because they like, some of the doctors like to use the fine tip. So I'm gonna repeat that. For the suture removals, all you need to do is you need to put a steri strip in here, make sure that it works. You need your Four steps that go upside down because you're going to open it through here and you want it to stay sterile and then your scissors should always be open. Actually, suture removals, not scissors. Okay, so once you're done putting your instrument, you're just going to take that sticky out and then put it back in. Since I only have three things to do today, I put the date on there and we're just going to put that in together and we're going to stick this in here. Like an oven. Okay, got it. So we're actually going to fill water. So you're going to see the water filling. As soon as the water touches this little ridge, we can start it. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to steam. Now I can close it. So we're going to close that tight. Then we are setting this to 45 minutes. Then we just push start and then we wait for that cycle. Okay, so it already stopped for the steam. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and release the extra steam. It's hot, so be careful. When you open it. Okay, and all the steam should already be out. So I'm actually going to close it back up and leave it a little bit open. And then I'm gonna switch my switch, switch my switch. I'm going to turn my switch to the dry and I'm going to go ahead and do 45 minutes on there too. Leave the temperature the same. After it's done, um, it'll ding and once I'm done, I can just set my rack on top and my autoclaving is all done.